most people go into the university learning computer science. At the university, 90% of what they are what they are taught is skills that probably um, without any specialization, right? They learn everything without specializing on a particular field. Now, after learning computer science, majority of them move into software engineering. As software engineering, you design websites, you design apps, you design um, mobile apps, the mobile apps you know, these software engineers design them, right? However, very few of them go into cyber security. At cyber security, your job basically is to um, ethically break into companies' computer and personal computers, right? Find out the vulnerabilities and patch them. And here you make your money. So um, we have millions of companies all over the world, and we need cyber security professionals to break into these systems and protect them against the bad actors, right? Um, also, a handful of them move into big data. And big data, your job here is basically to analyze data because in every website you visit, you are leaving a footprint. This footprint could be your IP address, your location, wherever it is, right? This your information can then be used to, um, can then be analyzed by um, the big data, analyze it, compress it and then use it to make a useful information which can be how to run campaign for adverts or where majority um, of the visitors come from right um, at the end of it you see that software engineering is very very saturated right so because it is saturated there is a lot of competition however there is a very high demand in cyber security in this economy, if you really want to make a very big uh, career in tech, I recommend you should consider transitioning to cyber security on big data, right? We also have a class going on on cyber security, right? On the link below, you will probably see, uh, probably see a structured cyber security class that you can take. And this will guide you step by step Right? You don't probably need to be a computer science student. You probably don't need to have a tech um, degree. You probably don't even need to have anything in tech, right? It will guide you step by step on how you step practical um, cyber security skills. And after then, that is not all. After then, we will guide you, to, we will show you exactly where to apply for these jobs, how you are probably going to set your CV, how you are going to um, make it look attractive for your potential employer click the link below and go through it if it is probably something you believe you can do why not we will guide you but if it is not something you probably wish to do let us know and we will give you better refund so i'll be dropping more tips on how you can transition from a non-tech background to courses like um cyber security and other tech courses Make sure you subscribe, like, and um, share this to somebody you know that uh, is taking time. This is very, very important. See you soon.